in the Waving background at the top, there. so Blewett was back and forth. Oh, that's one up and over, goodness me. OK, well, now we're going to get a red as for sure. Where is that? It's Mike Scott. He's been in the fence. Oh, that's coming. That's oh, in the pit lane. He's landed on, on the pit entrance. He's gone over the fence. He has gone over he's, the fence coming around through 10. He's got the oh tyre wall. Oh, my goodness. He's got the tyre wall and catapulted over it. Or maybe it's gone in earlier in the sand and then started rolling over. Yeah. Whoa, wee. Well, now, red that, flag that flying here. That reminds me uh, a few years ago of uh, our good friend Brad Jones ending up in a very similar position then. So yesterday we saw Jason Bright uh, end up on the wall after having a bit of a rub with uh, Chris Pither approaching through that section. Highly talented open wheel driver Mike Scott on his roof in the pit entrance. That and car has done the high jump. Brought the red flag out. Recently just returned from uh, USF 2000 as well, Murph, raining over there in Laguna Seca. He returns to the USA in December. Got a couple seasons of TRS, the Toyota Racing Series, under his belt. And for the second time this weekend, we have a red flag with the pit entrance block. You never see it once in a weekend, let alone twice. We're only a couple of laps away from the from the end, so that'll be the end of uh, race three here for TR86. But uh, not the way you want to have a race finish. They're still trying, they're trying to get, actually, um, Cochram's car, which is badly damaged. They've actually managed to get that through the, through the gate there and out of the way as well. But uh, not the way we wanted to end the weekend. No, they got through, got through race two nice and clean, the TR86 boys. Huge crowd here at Pukekohe Park this weekend for the I-Team Auckland Super Sprint. Yes. It's a fast it's a part camera. of the racetrack to let go. I think the camera's going to pull back here in a second, and we're going to see... Oh! oh my goodness. Well, that was upside down very early, and then it's barrel rolled up. Oh, I can barely believe my eyes. Um, luckily, and we have got uh, some word from our officials to say that uh, he's uh, okay. Wow. Thank so he rode up on Matt Lockwood's wheel and unbelievable for an open wheel driver, you'd think having doors around you would get away with something like that. He's had an open wheel crash and essentially a sedan. I did not expect to see that car upside down on the track oh. and then get over the fence. Have had initial word through that there are no major injuries for the young man, and this is what happened earlier in the race. By the way, almost forgot this had even happened. The 11. Well, it's minor in comparison, isn't it? And but there's the there is the overcorrection that happens with the little short wheelbase of the TR86. Big hit, and that is a sizable hit. Absolutely square on. It's just such a fast part of the racetrack. Yeah. Nearly had it, and they just and go the off. front wheels grip. As soon as the front wheels get grip, it, the car just follows the direction that they're pointing. And that's part of the, the fact that it creates so much so much grip with the slick tire with these.